April's 2020 Christmas liturgy, in the year which many things are different. Key Stage 2 classes have worked hard to bring you our online Christmas carol concerts. We know more than ever how important our faith is and how much the light of Christ sustains us. This Advent we have been reflecting on how we can prepare for the celebration of Nativity and the coming again of Jesus. We have also been thinking about how we can use our gifts and talents God has gave us to thank him for the gracious gift of all, his beloved son, Jesus Christ. We very much hope you enjoy our liturgy. We would like to begin by making the sign of the cross and the reading from Isaiah. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 2 to 8. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the, deep, in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They will rejoice before you. As people rejoice at harvest, as warriors rejoice. When dividing the plunder, for as in, mid, in the day of Midian's defeat, you have shattered. The yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's boot used in a battle and every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. On, of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it, with justice and righteousness for that time on and forever. God has chosen you 
among all women, very soon you will have a baby. You must call him Jesus. This would be a very special baby. He would be great and his kingdom would last forever and ever. He told her that the child would be called the Son of God. Mary was surprised as she was not yet married to Joseph, but the angel reassured her, saying nothing was impossible for God. Mary bowed before the angel and told him she would be obedient and to, obedient to God and that she wanted to do as God wished. When she got up, the angel had disappeared. and hurried to a town in a hill country of Judea to meet her friend and cousin Elizabeth. She told Elizabeth about the baby she was going to have. When Elizabeth heard Mary's news, her own baby leapt in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women and blessed is the child you will have as soon as the sound of your news reached my ears, she said. The baby in my womb leaped for joy. You are blessed because you believe that the Lord would fulfill his promises to you. <laughs>
said, My heart praises the Lord. My soul is glad because of God my Saviour. For he has remembered me, his lowly servant. From now on, all people will call me happy because of the great things the mighty God has done for me. His name is holy. From one generation to another, he showed mercy to those who honour him. He has stretched out his mighty arm and scattered the proud with all their plans. He has brought down mighty kings from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has kept the promise he made to our ancestors and has come to help his servant Israel. He has remembered to show mercy to Abraham and to all his descendants forever. Mary stayed about three months with Elizabeth and went back home. Caesar Augustus issued a law saying that everyone needed to be counted. This meant that everyone had to go to their own town and register, so Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, was the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child.
time came for the baby to be born, and she would give birth to her firstborn, a son, as there were no rooms available at any guest house. Mary wrapped her baby in cloth and placed him in the manger. living out in fields, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, I bring you good news that will bring great joy for all people. Today, in the town of Bethlehem, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. There will be, this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, thousands of angels appeared in the sky, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace to people of good will. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son, Jesus, that starry night in Bethlehem. May we not lose sight of the true meaning of Christmas, but celebrate Jesus' birthday with joy. Help us to give as you gave with love. In Jesus' name, Amen.